And there's still much more news ahead. Eyewitness News at 6 starts now. Right now, it's New York's number one news with Bill Witter and Liz Cho, Ryan Field, the sports, and meteorologist Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 6. We don't want an apology. We will cast our opinions at the polls on November 5th. Anger and outrage tonight over racist misogynistic and inflammatory comments made at Donald Trump's rally last night at Madison Square Garden, including calling Puerto Rico a, quote, floating island of garbage. Plus, the Yankees and the Dodgers getting ready tonight for Game 3 of the World Series, and the Bronx Bombers desperately need a win. But first, the NYPD say they have identified the man who attempted to rape a woman over the weekend in Central Park. And good evening to you. Mm -hmm. It's Michael Liz Chow. And I'm Bill Ritter. The woman was attacked early Saturday morning in Central Park's East Drive near 85th Street. Cops say at first she was beaten and then the man tried to rape her. Police have released video of the suspect and now say they have identified him. I would assume reporter Kimberly Richardson is live in the park with much more on our disturbing lead story tonight. Kim. Well, Liz, detectives say they do have some solid leads and yes, hope to have that suspect in custody soon. Just up this pathway near East Drive. It was early in the morning, dark at the time, which is when many here say they never enter this 